Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you see the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and study your Torah for sake fulfilling your desire. Bless you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, you King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, give us the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you, may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. We have a three reads today. Oops. I'm making the camera. Acts 7, 35, 8. Uh, 35 through 8, 1 is our first one. Then this Moses, whom they rejected, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge? This man Elohim sent us both ruler and redeemer by the hand of the angel who appeared to him in the bush. This man led them out, performing wonders and signs in Egypt and at the Red Sea in the wilderness for forty years. This is the Moses who said to the Israelites, Elohim will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brothers. This is... <clears throat> this is the one who was in the congregation in the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him at Mount Sinai and with our fathers. He received living oracles to give to us. Our father, our fathers refused to obey him, but thrust him aside, and in their hearts they turned to Egypt, saying to Aaron, Make us gods who will go before us. And for this, Moses, who led us out, from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. And they made a calf in those days, and offered a sacrifice to the idol, and were rejoicing in the works of their hands. But Elohim turned away and gave them over to worship the hosts of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets. Did you bring to me slain beasts and sacrifices during the forty years in the wilderness, O house of Israel? You took up the tent of Moloch, and a star of your god, Raphan. The image that you made to worship, and I will send you into exile beyond Babylon. Our father had the tent of the wilderness in the wilderness, just as he who spoke to Moses directed him to make it. According to the pattern that he had seen, our fathers in turn brought it in with Joshua when they this possessed nation at Elohim drove out before our fathers. So it was until the days of David, who found favor in the sight of Elohim, and asked to find a dwelling place for the Elohim of Jacob. But it was Solomon who built a house for him. Yet the Most High does not dwell in the houses made by hand. As the prophet says, Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me, says the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Do not my hand make all these things? Sorry, did not my hand make all these things? You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do you. Which of the prophets did your father, fathers not persecute? And they killed those who announced beforehand the coming of the righteous one, whom you have now betrayed and murdered. You who received the law as delivered by angels and did not keep it. <coughs> me. Now when they heard these things, they were enraged, and they grounded they ground their teeth at him. But he, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of Elohim, and Yeshua ascending at the right hand of Elohim, and he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of Elohim. But they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and rushed together at him. Then they cast him out of the city and stoned him. In the wilderness, laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul. And as they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Yeshua, receive my spirit. And falling to his knees, he cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. And Saul approved of his execution. And there arose on that day a great persecution against the church in Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea, Samaria, except the apostles. 
1 Corinthians 10, 1 through 13. For I do not want you to be unaware, brothers, that our father, our fathers were all under the cloud, all passing through the sea, and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual food. For they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was Hamashiach, nevertheless. With most of them Elohim was not pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things took place as examples for us, that we might not desire evil as they did. Do not be idolaters as some of them, oh, as some of them were. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. We must not indulge in sexual immorality as some of them did. In the twenty-three house, the twenty-three thousand fell in a single day. We must not put Hamashiach to the test as some of them did and were destroyed by serpents, nor grumble as some of them did and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now these things happened to them as an example, but they were written down for our instruction, on whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore let anyone who thinks that he stands take heed lest he fall. No, tempta no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. Elohim is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape you, you may that you may be able to endure it. 2 Corinthians 3, 1 through 18. Are we beginning to commend ourselves again, or do we need, as some do, letters of recommendation to you or from you? You yourselves are a letter of recommendation written on our hearts to be known and ready by all. Sorry, read by all. And you show that you are let you are a letter from Hamashiach delivered by us, written not with the ink, but with the spirit of the living Elohim, not on tablets of stone, but on the tablets of human hearts. Such is the confidence that we have through Hamashiach toward Elohim. Not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything as coming from us, but our sufficiency is from Elohim, who has made us sufficient to be ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. Now if the ministry of death carved in letters on stone came with such glory that the Israelites could not gaze at Moses' face because of its glory which was being brought to an end. Will not the ministry of the Spirit have even more glory? For if there was glory in the ministry of condemnation, the ministry of righteousness must far exceed it in glory. Indeed, in this case, what once had glory has come to have no glory at all because of the glory that surpasses it. For, in, for if what was being brought to an end and came with glory much more will what is permanent have glory. Since we have such a hope, we are very bold, not like Moses, who put a veil over his face so that the Israelites might not gaze at the outcome of what was being brought to an end, but their minds were hardened. For to this day when they read the Old Covenant, that same veil remains unlifted because only through Hamashiach is it taken away. Yes, to this day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over their hearts. But when one turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is in the Spirit. Is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all, with unveiled face, behold the Beholding the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord who is in spirit. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth instead of our lasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Bruka ta Adonai Elohim, Melach Halom, Ashna ta, Lenu Tereti Met Baishi Elom, Natal Betta Kenyu, Bruka ta Adonai Natina Torah.